great day. It's been a bit of a lazy morning because these guys up here they were taking their sweet ass time getting me unloaded. And then uh, they were real picky about the load and everything. Oh, they had to triple count every single piece. And there's only 11 crates on the, on the trailer. But they had to triple count to make sure everyone was there. one quarter mile. Take the entrance to the left on no, RT 17 East Binghamton. Finally managed Southern to get them to sign the darn bill. Take the entrance the to the left on RT 17 East Binghamton. Probably took them Southern just as long to do, figure out how many pieces there was and then and, and making phone calls and and recounting and signing the bill and it took them to get unloaded, you know. Oh well, that's how it goes sometimes, I guess. Now, here we go on our way to Quebec. I uh, should be in Quebec fairly early already this afternoon, but it says our load is only to be picked up tomorrow. I thought at first it was going to be picked up today, but it says tomorrow. So I guess we'll uh, have a lazy day today. I guess we'll only have to do about 500 kilometers today. Or just over 500, maybe 550 or something like that. I got uh, 340 miles from here to my uh, pickup location. For so uh, miles. it's not that far, but uh, oh well, what can you do, right? We got out of here. And see what the, what the, the rest of the day will do for us you know hopefully we'll have a good day and make it over to Quebec just look at the old beautiful buildings that we got here on the left yep going through some sort of city I'm not 100% sure what it's called but uh, yeah well it's always uh, interesting when you see old buildings like these you know certainly makes it uh, for for a good show I think seeing old buildings like that we are going to go across a bridge that I have never crossed at before yep certainly looks like a pretty tall bridge I shouldn't say I never crossed here before. I think I crossed here once before, but it's been a very, very long time ago. State border ahead. Oh, look at that. There's ahead. even a ship. I don't know if you will be able to see it there on the right. There's a big ship coming down the river up there. Holy smokes. Yeah, that's going to be interesting for you guys. Going up over the big bridge and seeing a ship cross underneath there. Yeah, I guess that's why they build this ship so high that they can have these big ships cross, eh? Yeah, look at that. I haven't seen a big ship. Oh, there's another one coming up there on the right, but I guess this must be a big shipyard up here somewhere. Yeah, no, we're going to go downhill. Well. Oh, well, I had to pay my tool here to cross this bridge there's uh, 11 dollars to cross up here not bad not bad I've paid worse than that more than that but, yeah well anyways uh, we'll be crossing the border here pretty soon just a little bit away from it we'll be we'll be in Ontario Yep, oh, there we go. We got 65 speed limit again. GPS said uh, on top of the bridge there, GPS border is coming up in uh, five miles. So, should be in Ontario in the next five miles. There we go, we just crossed the border. That's a welcome to Ontario sign right there. Yep, we are officially in Ontario. It was easy crossing here. 
I thought they were gonna give me a hard time because I think I never ever crossed in this way into Ontario yet. I crossed into the United States this way here, but never ever uh, did I cross into Canada. Oh, look at that. I wonder what that is. It's like some kind of tall tower that you can climb up to and I guess get a good view of all the river that there was a river just down the road Steep there. Right ahead. On the side there, so. Yeah, I guess uh, some scenic areas up here, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, we won't have a big day today, as I said earlier, but hey, Sweet I'll morning. probably go to the uh, Fly and Jay then, and uh, I guess I'll be working on my movies and, uh, or videos, I guess, and uh, upload those as many as I can, I guess. And, uh, call it a day I guess once we get there oh look at that we got another big bridge up here ah huh, that's weird oh I don't remember this but uh, I guess I guess we get to see new scenery every time I guess sometimes oh wow no wonder they call this thousand islands they got a lot of islands up here man that is beautiful oh wow no wonder they got uh, all kind of scenic areas up there at that whole tall tower and all that stuff but the sign back there said it said it's called the thousand islands up here so I guess they got a few islands up here and I can certainly see that it's like islands everywhere <laughs> but here we go going over the bridge again but this is a different bridge than I went over over there Anyways, uh, we'll keep on rolling, keep on rolling. Oh, looks like we got a sharp curve coming up here, so I'm gonna have to slow her down. Should be on uh, 401 Highway here pretty soon, it looks like. Anyways, we'll keep on rolling and we'll uh, see you guys down the road. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, toll booth that I was telling you guys about. This is where uh, same kind of toll booth that I had to stop at the other side of too, you know. Pay the toll to cross the bridge. Yep. Uh, I don't have to pay now. I paid on the other side, it looks like. Yeah, there's a sign for the 401 already. Ah, that's not far away from the 401 at all. Says keep on this lane Sweet to go morning. to Montreal. That's what we'll do. Already, I have come to the end of the day. Field up over here at the Flying J. I'm basically just at the border of Ontario and Quebec. And uh, I would have gone further into Quebec, but uh, there really isn't that many truck stops in the area and. Uh, really up to the place that I have to deliver to there is from what I could see there was no truck stop so which is all right it's only another uh, 80 kilometers so yeah about I guess 45 50 miles yeah it'll be about 50 miles and uh, so I figured you know what I'm just gonna go stop here at the Flying J I gotta fuel up anyways. Well, I didn't really have to fuel up, but if I go to uh, Montreal tomorrow and, uh, and head, start heading home, there ain't that many Flying J's or, or anything like that up there. There are a couple of Huskies, I think, where I can fuel up at, but I have decided I'm gonna fuel up at the Flying J as much as I possibly can. So, I know there's another Flying J up in South St. Marie. That's where I'll probably fuel up next just to make it home. But uh, hey, I went and had me a shower since we got that power shower. I can take a shower every day now, so I'm taking advantage of that. And hey, it was really nice showers in here today, too. So hey, shaved, brushed my tooth, everything like that, you know, normal stuff that we gotta do. And 
No, I'm just sitting over here uh, editing up all my videos and uh, keeping my fingers crossed. Maybe I'll have most of them uploaded by tomorrow morning. We'll see how fast this internet will be up here today. The last flying J I stopped at there a couple of days ago. The internet wasn't wasn't really fast at all. Like I managed to upload one video and the other one was like 20% or something. And here we go. Try it again. And seems like this internet is a little bit faster. So. Hopefully we'll get at least one or two videos uploaded by tomorrow morning and then uh, I'll ha I'll be covered till I get home like if uh, it doesn't look like I'll be home Wednesday night uh, looks like I'll be home uh, Thursday morning sometime the way it goes right now so if that's the case at least I'll have the one uh, uploaded for Thursday so that way I'm covered and then we'll upload the rest at home once I get home I have pretty good internet at home so we'll do that at home then I guess but uh, but yeah, so I'll get back to work, uh, working on those videos, and then uh, I guess you will see me again tomorrow at 5 a.m. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up, description uh, down below, check out those links for my uh, Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus accounts and all that fun stuff, you know. And there's also a uh, subscribe button down below, so don't forget to hit that, that way you get all my latest videos, and you'll be notified when I have a new video out and uh, hey if you like the video probably somebody else liked the video too so hit that share button because that will help me out tremendously because if you don't you know less people will see my videos and uh, i'll have less subscribers and you know how that goes so uh sometimes if uh you know you don't get new subscribers or not that many comments anymore or not too many like buttons or whatever you know it makes you feel like uh, you're you're doing something wrong or you're not doing something right or whatever you know so uh, please help me out we'll get the show rolling and uh, with that we'll cut it for today and have a good day night whatever it is for you we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m so